Hello everyone, this is Jack from Dr. Pru's app. Um, today we're going to test something different. We're going to test the prolonged charger that I just got from the mail. Uh, I'm going to use the prolonged charger to see if I can revive or improve this battery. Um, this is a 2010 Prius with almost 200,000 miles. Uh, it's it's a second battery pack already uh, and it's I think it has around 50 or 60 percent of the life expectancy left. Uh, we're gonna use the Dr. Priest app to test that and then we're gonna hook up this charger uh, for like 24 hours and see if it improved the, uh, the battery in any way. Alright stay tuned. Alright so we are in the car right now let's do a before testing. Um, Life expectancy test. Okay. Let go the gas pedal. Low again. Again, this is an old car, old battery. Okay, Step here we go. Pedal, yep. In reverse, turn on headlight, Didn't take too long to get here. From the battery. Your goal is to keep the needle within the green area. Let me turn on the AC headlight. Step three, please keep the needle within the green area. All right, the the testing is gonna be done any second now. Let's see what the result is. Forty-one point nine four percent. All right, let's hook up to the prolonged charger and see if we if we can uh, improve this battery pack um, in any way. All right, I just connect the uh, prolonged charger to the battery. Uh, there are three wires that you need to connect. First is the black one to the negative, and then the red one to the positive side. Uh, the third one being the fan, so it has this. Um, it's actually, I think, it's overriding the um, the uh, the fans, so it's providing the power. Uh, pretty sure it's gonna blow cold air during the testing. Not not testing, sorry, the charging. All right, so let's turn it on. Oops, let me check the, uh, the the main power. All right, let's turn on. Okay, it's drawing, it's charging at very little ampage. 0.356 amp. Uh, so right now it's at two, uh, 214 volts, which is very low. I think we should go all the way to 245 something. I think that's the color of voltage for a nickel metal hydrate battery. So, uh, I'm gonna wait for 24 hours, wait for you to charge up, and then we're gonna do the same life expectancy test again. All right, it's been two days. I kind of forgot and just leave the car here charging. Uh, let me see if I can get again. Go. Okay, I'm getting at uh, 240 volts and steady there. So I'm just going to unhook it and go for a ride and do a life expectancy test again. All right, I just finished uh, a pretty long local drive, warm up the engine. So I think we are ready to do like expectancy test again. Um, yeah, see all the temperatures at, well, even 100 degree, 84, 87, so that's good. Nice and warm. Please Let's start the, the uh, life expectancy test. the gas pedal all right up here and drop to zero and try it again do that again Alright, 
Here we go. Turn on the AC, turn on the headlights, and adjust the temperature to low. Here we go, step three. And we are right there at the green area. Alright. And with the magic of editing, we're gonna come back in uh, 10 minutes and show you the result. So, according to the prolonged manufacturer, uh, this charger will wake up your the uh, nickel metal hydride chemistry uh, to stimulate the cell to get it back to the original state or better than the older state, at least. Um, and it's not a permanent fix, according to the company itself. Uh, which I would like to uh, um, uh, state that very clearly. Um, I think it will stimulate the cell for like a couple months, um, but eventually you still need to hook it back to the charger um, and, and then continue charging. So uh, give it this a little bit of room. I'm not sure the, what's the improvement we're gonna get. We will see that result very soon, but you're gonna get that a little bit of wrench come back to your battery. Um, yeah, again, it's not a permanent fix. It's probably good for a couple of months. Um, so it's like it becoming a plug-in hybrid, in my opinion. Uh, okay. Wow. Okay. So now it has 65.88. Remember, before was like 40 something capacity. That was like two to three days ago. Cool. So I think I overcharge it a little bit because usually, uh, according to the website, you only need to hook it up for 24 hours or so. I put it on like 48 hours, <laughs> even 72. Um, and then I drove like 10 miles locally um, and come back, do the like expenses test. And that was like what? 20 plus percent increase in capacity. Okay, that's good. I am impressed so far. So let's see how long that, uh, how long that's gonna last. Okay, let's see how long it take the uh, the normal driving to wear down the battery back to 40 something percent. Cool. Thank you so much for watching. That's the result with the, um, the well, at least short term result for the prolonged test, uh, charger testing. Alright, guys, I was too happy. I do a second round of test, and the test should be done in a second now. Let's see how good the result is. Yep, 66.86%, so it's pretty consistent. Um, so the next video will be uh, waiting for one month, two months, or even three months test, see how it stand up to the test.